In this video, we'll learn how to solve system of equations. So for this particular problem, we'll be using the elimination method to solve system of equations. Now in elimination method, you either add or subtract the equations to eliminate one of the variable. So we eliminate one of the variable and solve for the other variable in elimination method. So you can either add or subtract the equations. Now how to decide whether to add the equations or subtract the equations? So remember that if you want to add the equations, you should have the same coefficient in front of the variable, but the opposite signs. So let's say if I am looking for the x variable, if I have x variable, and the number in front of the x variable in one equation is 5, and in the other equation, the number in front of x variable is negative 5. In this scenario, I can add these two equations and eliminate the x variable because 5x plus negative 5x, well, they are going to add up to 0. So basically, these two are going to cancel out each other because they have opposite signs. So in this kind of scenario, you add the equations. But when you subtract the equations, you should have the same coefficient with the same sign. So let's say if you're looking at the y variable this time, and let's say if I have 7 in my first equation and then 7 in my second equation. So notice that I have the same coefficient in front of the y variable with the same signs. So the signs has to be same. Then you can subtract the equations and eliminate that variable. And see, if I subtract these equations, 7y take away 7y, well, that's going to be 0 because 7y minus 7y is going to be 0. So these are the two scenarios when you need to add or subtract the equations. Remember, when the coefficients are same, but the signs are opposite, in that situation, you add your equations. When the coefficients are same and the signs are also same, then you subtract the equations to eliminate that variable. Now let's see our equation. Let's see. Let's look at the y variable. Do we have the same coefficient in front of the y variable? No. We have a negative 3 in the first equation and we have a positive 8 in front of y in the second equation. So we will not be able to eliminate the y variable. Now let's look at the x variable. Here I have a 6 in front of x and here also I have a 6 in front of x. So I have the same coefficients with the same signs. When you have same coefficients with the same signs, you subtract the equations to eliminate that variable. So to eliminate the x variable, I will subtract these equations. So first equation minus second equation. So let's do that. Now when you subtract, you have to be careful because you will have to distribute this negative sign inside the parentheses. I'm going to put parentheses around my second equation, and I will have to make sure that I distribute this negative sign inside. So this is 6x minus 6x. Well, that will be 0. So this is going to be 0. Okay. Then we have negative 3y minus positive 8y, right? Negative 3y take away positive 8y. Well, that's going to give me negative 11y is equal to 6 minus negative 16. 6 take away negative 16 will be 6 plus 16. And 6 plus 16 is going to be equal to 22. And you see that I'm able to eliminate my x variable. Now, I only have y variable left in my equation. And I can easily solve my equation for y variable and find out the value of y. This is basically one step equation now. We have negative 11y is equal to 22. To find the value of y, I can divide both sides by negative 11. This negative 11 and negative 11 is going to cancel out each other. We'll get to y is equal to 22 divided by negative 11 is going to be equal to negative 2. So I got my value of y. y is equal to negative 2. Now, I use this value of y to find out the value of x. So what I'm going to do is I'll substitute this value of y into my original equation. Now you can use either one of them. It really doesn't matter which one you use, but make sure you use the original equation. So I'm going to use the first equation. If you use the second equation, still you will end up with the same answer. So that really doesn't matter. So let's use the first equation to find out the value of x. 6x minus 3y is equal to 6. If you have like 
negative signs in your too many negatives in your equation, then avoid using that equation. Use the other equation which has like which is easy to solve. Now here I'm going to substitute the value of y and then solve this equation for x. I have 6x minus 3 in place of y, I'll plug in negative 2 is equal to 6. 6x negative 3 times negative 2 will be positive 6 is equal to 6. Now to get x by itself, first of all I'll have to undo addition, so I'll subtract 6 from both sides of my equation. This will be equal to 0, and then I'll have 6x on the left hand side, on the right hand side, 6 minus 6 is also equal to 0. To get x by itself, we'll just need to get rid of the 6. I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 6. This will cancel out each other. I'm only left with x is equal to 0 divided by 6 is going to be 0. So I got my value of x, I got my value of y, and I'm going to write my final answer in the form of ordered pair. When you write the ordered pair, remember that you put the x-coordinate first and then the y-coordinate. My x-coordinate is 0, my y-coordinate is negative 2, so the solution for this system of equation is going to be 0, comma, negative 2, where the x is 0 and y is negative 2. This means when you graph these two equations, the lines will intersect at the point 0, comma, negative 2, and this will be the unique solution for this system of equations. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.